Cancer Leo friends. Welcome back to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much, friends, for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It does make a difference, and it does help the channel to grow. All right, uh, everything else you need to know about the session or the channel, that is listed down below in the description box. The first link down below is the link to the astrological weather if you're interested in winning a free reading and also knowing the astrological energies for the month of July. Also, you'll find a link to the list of decks that we use for the channel as well as a link to the music playing in the background. Let's jump right into it and take a look here. What are the top three potential influences or energies for the next seven days, possibly beyond, for our Cancerian Leo collective friends, please? All right, so we have the tree energy. So it looks like you might have something to do with your family or something to do with uh, possibly your health, okay? We also have the tower card energy, so something having to do with your job. Could also be the government I'm getting. Could be something to do with the government or something to do with permitting, but we'll jump into it once we have all the energies on the table. Also, we have the moon card energy. So we have romance, love, fame, fortune, all right? All right, being loved by the public. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about the tree energy. Tell me about what's going on. Is this about your family or is this about your health? Here we have the clouds energy. So there's something you're unsure of. Either you could, maybe you are waiting for some sort of test results and you're not sure, uh, you haven't gotten any message or update yet. Could also be there's something about your family that you're unsure about or that you, you weren't, no one told you about something or something catches you by surprise. We have the fish energy. So I think this might be a pregnancy test. I think that you might be taking a pregnancy test or someone's taking a pregnancy test. And I feel like it's, it's you're not sure if the test results are accurate. I feel like you might have actually gone to an actual like um, OBJYN or a gyno, you know, a gyno or OBGYN to get an actual test to see if you're pregnant or if someone is pregnant here. Also, it could be uh, it could be something you don't know that is like some sort of gathering or some sort of I don't want to say plot, but I want to say like some sort of plan that seems to be orchestrated by your children might catch you by surprise. So if you have uh, if you have a <laughs> I'm hearing a gang of plotters in your you know as your children as your brood, be careful they are 100% up to something. <laughs> All right, tell me more about tell me more about this. We have the stars energy. Yeah, I feel like here, if it, I think if it's pregnancy, I think you really want to have a child. I think that this is almost like, I hear like miracle baby. So it's almost like maybe you didn't think you could conceive a child or maybe you just, for whatever reason, maybe you've been trying and it just hasn't been successful, but you know, maybe you've been on like some sort of regimen or something like that, or some sort of schedule. I feel like you and your partner, you were like, this is not working, so you stop. And then all of a sudden it's like, surprise, you're pregnant. <laughs> you know what I mean? And obviously that has to be, you know, if it resonates and also if it's possible, you know, in your situation for that to happen. But I do feel like someone was really trying to get pregnant. And I feel like it's like, it just catches you off guard. I feel like for others, yeah, I feel like one of your kids, I feel like your kids have a bright idea and bright idea. I feel like these kids, they know how to get into trouble. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, yeah, we have the lilies. We also have the gentleman energy. The lilies is an apology, I feel like. And the gentleman, no matter how you identify in terms of sex or gender or present in terms of sex or gender, that's you in the situation. If this is involving a bunch of um, kids that are up to no good, it is going to lead. They are going to apologize. You are going to catch them. I think you're going to catch them like red handed. I feel like it might actually just be an act of chance or an act. Of, oh, my gosh. I hear act of God, an act of chance or an act of God that you just catch them red handed in the act. And they're just like, I think they oh man. <laughs> I think the little one, I, I think the little one's going to have to change their pants. <laughs> they're immediately the little one turns on the other ones they're like they're like they made me do it don't listen to it i think the little one is the mastermind <laughs> mastermind <laughs> mastermind <laughs> oh i hope this doesn't have anything to do with fireworks though could be a just be careful make sure that these kids aren't doing anything crazy with fireworks the star's energy kind of makes me think about fireworks though all right what's the takeaway guidance here what's the takeaway guidance here 
Well, it makes sense. Is it going to be, uh, well, in the U.S., I think it's going to be 4th of July in the next seven days. All right. Uh, here we have the ring energy. I feel like you might, you might be getting a call. This, if this, if these are kids plotting, they might be at a relative's house. They could be at their grandparents' house for some sort of cookout or celebration. I think you're gonna get a call. It's possible you might have to work. Sorry if that's the case, but you might get a call. These kids have been into up to something. Maybe something involving fireworks. If this is. Um, if this is you and this is pregnancy, it looks like if you are pregnant, if you're not married to the to the parent or to the other parent of the child, th they are going to propose to you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me what's the takeaway guidance here in this situation for Cancerian Leo friends? We do have the letter energy. One way or another, you're getting information you're getting information, you're getting the report, you're getting the pregnancy test results or you're telling someone you're telling someone the results okay i feel like there's a lot of communication and i feel like this person uh, whoever the other parent is again if you're not married it looks like they are finally going to propose or they are going to propose to you uh, as soon as they learn about the pregnancy sorry my head was itchy <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's look at this tower card energy. What is going on? Is this about your career or is this about something involving the institution, especially government? We do have the mice energy. I think it has something to do with your job. I think you might be afraid that your job is about to do some cutbacks or maybe you got some sort of information. You got information that your job might be cutting back some positions. Yeah, with the mountain card energy, I think I think you realize that there's going to be uh, maybe profits were not where they needed to be. I feel like you you get the sense that uh, this is this is a real hurdle. I feel like there is something about bottlenecking or something where uh, something got something got backed up or something you weren't you weren't able to produce enough or something like that I think you know that there's going to be cuts I think that you know there's going to be budget cuts there's going to be challenges and setbacks the birds energy you're also hearing things through the grapevine I think you might have people that are on the lookout or that are you know um, keeping in touch maybe they're from different parts of the company maybe you're friends with people from different parts of the company or people that have uh you know different departments but whatever it is it's starting to look like the the talk the word around town or the talk is that there, there's going to be some pretty um big challenges that are coming in the future for the department or for the company all right we do have we do have the house energy we also have the ship and we have the key all right yeah, I feel like you're getting some key information from people that are close to you, whether it's relatives or friends that work in different departments. That being said, it all feels very hush-hush. I think they're telling you it's time to find, to start looking for other work or to start putting your resume out there or something like that. I feel like you you might be getting, I don't think they're supposed to give you this warning. So just be very careful, Cancer Leo, because if they're not supposed to give you this warning. I feel like someone might accuse you of knowing ahead of time or something like that. So just be, it, you gotta be delicate in how you handle it, but someone is definitely giving you real key information about what's happening in your company or in the department. Now, for some of you, this could be something about, this could be a uh, someone is giving a warning or letting you know that maybe there's gonna be some sort of um, investigators or could be like an could be like ice it could be uh the, the irs i get i i so it could be irs or ice okay but i feel like someone might be giving you a warning or might be giving you a heads up what's the potential outcome here we have the rider card energy yeah someone is definitely uh someone is definitely coming to give you information listen to this person they're giving you good information or they're warning you about someone who's coming or something that's about to happen okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here let's look at the moon card energy <laughs> you got some intrigue here some drama but you also have love romance or possibly fame what is this moon card trying to tell us tell us more about this moon card for the next seven days possibly beyond we do have the stork energy. I feel like there's new love for you, Leo, uh, Cancer Leo. I feel like there's new love. Love is in the air or there's pregnancy. We do have the garden energy, but I think this is a date. I think you're going out with someone new that you were introduced to. I think you could have gone out with this person a couple times already. If you already had sex with this person, the sex is the bomb if you haven't had sex with this person i it feels like you have really great sexual chemistry 
uh, you're having a fun time. Something's coming to an end, though. What's coming to an end? Is it, oh, I hope it's not the, the relationship. The dog energy. So it looks like you might have been... You might have been stuck on your ex or you might have been stuck in a certain pattern of behavior, especially romantically. That's coming to an end. You're doing things differently. You're allowing other, you know, you're allowing yourself to do things differently and not to go into the same behaviors or attitudes that might have sabotaged you in love previously. Okay. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more about the situation for Cancerian Leo, please. If this is, um, all right, if this happens to be a situation where you are, you find out you're pregnant and your partner has been unfaithful in the past, I feel like your partner's gonna stop acting like a dog. Now that doesn't always happen and I don't know if it's gonna be for, you know, as long as you're pregnant or for as long as you're raising this child up until a certain point, but it is showing me that if your, if your spouse or your partner has cheated on you previously, they are gonna be faithful and loyal once once they find out about the pregnancy okay we have the clover card energy it looks like yeah it feels like also you might think that this person is going to be upset but it looks like this person is actually really excited about the pregnancy also here it could be you're you're just looking at things in a much more positive way i feel like you you are feeling a lot better about your life about your about yourself about the future I feel like, you know, maybe you went through some depression, you went through some shadow energy, moon energy, you know, in the tarot especially, can have that primordial feminine energy. But I do feel like ultimately here, I do feel like um, this is gonna, this is going towards a positive direction, positive changes, all right? All right, let's go ahead and see, tell me more for our Cancer and Leo friends. We do have the snake energy, so I do feel like this is about transformation. I also do feel like this could be about a lover that's been kind of a snake in the past, but maybe there's something about, you know, parenthood that really suits them for, or, you know, maybe they're surprised by it too. But I feel like as soon as this person sees their child, it's like they fall in love with this child. Like they go on the straight and narrow. But again, I don't know how long this lasts. I don't know if this lasts for a lifetime or if this lasts for, you know, while the, ch while the child is a baby or a toddler or something like that. What's the takeaway guidance here with the, uh, with the moon card energy, please? What's the takeaway? All right, we do have the scythe energy. So, yeah, again, something is being cut out. Something is being is being cut away. What is being cut away? We have the cross energy. So, with the cross energy, that's burden, that's troubles, that's uh, anxiety, that can be grief, that can be pressure, possibly. So, I don't know. For some reason, it's like maybe this person, maybe maybe. Um, maybe this person was maybe they were convinced they weren't able to have children and maybe that's why they were acting out romantically because they just thought what's the freaking point it's like they, they're like i can't freaking spread my genes i feel like i'm feel like weird so i'm just gonna you know have a bunch of meaningless sex and that sort of thing now that they real, i guess now that they realize they can be a parent it's like they, they're finally like really letting accepting love or really letting love into their heart or really you know learning i don't know learning what love is possibly ex and accepting it is what i'm getting here the bird some sort of burden is released through parenthood is what i'm getting here all right uh what do we have at the bottom of the deck we do have the anchor card energy so yeah i feel like this person i feel like this person might have been a dirty dog in the past but and i mean let's be let's be full transparency i don't think this happens very often okay but i feel like this this dirty dog is changing their ways because they just they fall in love with being a parent okay all right that's what i've got for you friends please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation